guys, I wanted to do a cool project today. I have a couple of glass mugs that are just kind of sitting around and I wanted to make some gifts out of them because I bought them to give to people and they're just sitting here um, and I want to do something fun with them. Just a glass mug isn't, it's not very fun. So I um, have a billion bottles of nail polish and I was like, there must be something to do with these, right? So I looked up some things and I wanted to do kind of like a marbleized mug. So I'm gonna do a tutorial for you today. And I'm actually gonna be using these as teacher's gifts for the first day of school. So Addie's going into her four year preschool program. This will be her last year of preschool, three days a week. I can't believe my girl is oh, she's growing up so fast. So I'm going to be using that for that. I'm just going to throw a couple of tea bags in each mug. Definitely caffeinated. Maybe one or two decaf, but mostly caffeinated because I think her teachers might need it. Even though she's only there for a couple hours, three days a week. You know, four is a hard age. So let's get started. Okay, so I've already cleaned my mugs with rubbing alcohol. And that's really just to make sure there's nothing on them. I have four different nail polishes here. And I have a toothpick. So it's really simple. This is actually a tub from um, one of Addie's surgeries. We thought she might get sick in the car. So um, I have a tub. <laughs> Turns out she didn't get sick in the car. So this has just kind of been sitting in the garage. So this is just a tub of water. You're gonna take your nail polish and you're gonna pour it in. Don't pour it in from a high height because you don't want it to splash on you. toothpick sort of run some design through if you feel so inclined to do that I'm just gonna dump that here you're gonna take your mug and I don't want my mug to be perfect I just want them to be cool so just gonna dip that in Pull that out. It's my first mug. cool designs on the bottom just the bottom if you do just the bottom of a glass you can add tape around it and then when it's done you can pull that tape off and you'll have just the bottom of the glass so I'm gonna let these dry and we'll be back okay so my mugs have dried I really like them I think they're pretty funky you can see the pink sparkle shows up it's pretty cool Cleaned out the inside, so anything that had gone on the inside, I quickly wiped out with a little bit of nail polish remover and then rubbing alcohol. Um, and you'll see there's some cool like air bubbles and designs. I cleaned up the bottom so it wouldn't rock when it was on the table. Um, you can make these dishwasher safe. There's a Mod Podge you can put on top. Um, I'm not going to do that personally. Um, I'm going to put a note saying do not microwave and do not dishwash, hand wash only. Um, but I think these are great teas. I don't know if you only use a kettle. I only use a kettle anyway. So hopefully no microwaving the water. Um, but that's one mug. This is one of my other mugs. So super cool. And they're unique. So they all go together. But there isn't one design can see I love like the marbling and some places it's like more watercolor so super pretty so those are the three mugs now initially what I wanted to do um, was just do teas but last year we needed a lot of these at Addie's school these are um, they're essentially meat trays um, they're exactly what meat trays are on um, the styrofoam and they put paint on them and the kids paint 
So for each mug, I'm going to include just one little like nod and then if a teacher says to me, oh, we could use more of those, I'll know what to purchase more of. So if you're a teacher watching this, tell me what you need more of. Um, we love to support our teachers. So every teacher will get a mug and a tray and we'll put that together. Of course, they're going to get a packet of hot chocolate, two packets of caffeinated tea, and one of decaf. And I'll add that to the tray. I'm just gonna do a little four pack of crayons. I know it's just four crayons, but sometimes everybody gets something and even the teacher's like, I don't have anything to use. So that's just a start. Again, I'm hoping that our teachers will give me a little bit of a heads up as to what they need more of in the classroom. And then a glue stick. I prefer that my kids use the twist glue, the liquid glue, because it really is good for um, OT, squeezing the glue, hand strength. So I'm hoping that they use more of those in the classroom this year, but I know teachers are always looking out for glue sticks because they're easier for kids to, to use without making a huge mess. So I'll be adding one of those. So that's it. I'm just gonna add a little bit of paper to this or a little bit of maybe um, cellophane, tie a little bow on and deliver it to school on Addie's first day, which is coming up so, so soon, too soon in fact. Um, and this will be added to my, uh, my post that is coming up, which is about the three things you need for your preschool to start school. So be on the lookout for that on the blog. That'll be on A is for Adelaide.com. If you like what you see, there's more of this family, school, crafts, fitness, health, beauty, all of it. I am just sharing life and I hope that you share your life back with me. So leave comments, share the video, tell me what you want to see more of. Thanks for watching guys. Have a great day.